we talked about the wins and the losses of the video game industry this year, and Ubisoft has had quite the losses this year. Uh, mm. In fact, something I'm going to talk about in my neck in my upcoming video, actually. Oh, good. Well, here's a little bit of ammo for you, as if you were to look at, and I'm sure you already know all this stuff, Razor. Mm. We encourage everyone to go check out Razor's channel and obviously his videos. But uh, if you look at just this past year, exactly where Ubisoft is at from a company and where they started one year ago today uh, with their stock price in particular, they currently are sitting down 52% in their stock price over the last year, currently sitting at $13.16 one year ago today, $27.81. Over half their valuation as a company has dropped uh, in the last year. Now, this is very much reflective of even just in the last day. You know, they're dropping uh, 3% the last week, 15%. The last yeah. month, 21%. The year, 50%. The last five years, 81%. Balls. Right? When, is, when does that slide really start? It looks like halfway through 2020 and 2021. Well, they, they, they had their peak in 2018, right? Uh -huh. and, and then, you know, obviously there was- What the came out in 2018? I'm trying to, one of the Assassin's Creed's? Um, I don't have that on on uh, on hand immediately, but Blab, see if you can find the uh, games released by Valhalla, Ubisoft. Valhalla was 2021? 2020 right. or 2021, somewhere in there. Well, you but saw Valhalla the- Valhalla uh, was 2020. Okay, okay. So, so 2018 is what we're looking for, Blabs. Uh, if there are any, any major announcements for Ubisoft, that would reflect that. Then we had the uh, the Rainbow lockdowns. Six? We'll find uh, that in just a 2018 second. 2018 Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay, that makes sense. That was okay. a huge hit. So Odyssey's released, and they had a big old big old spike. Then we had the uh, the lockdown where everybody's inside playing video games, so their stock spikes. Mm -hmm. And then since then, it's seen a pretty dramatic drop. Uh, that out that spike is pretty much right in line with Valhalla's release. Or no, that's January 2021. Yeah, no, actually, that is. Yeah, yes. January 2021. That would be right after it came out. Okay, so so we're looking at $94 in 2018. And and then we have the COVID spike. Then it drops like pretty much like a rock. And it's at a low. I, I pointed this out the other day, Razor, but I want to point it out one more time. The current stock price is $13.16. If you would have bought it when it opened in, in 1996, you would have lost money right on your investment now i'm sure there was if, a split if you invested there. one dollar you have two dimes left folks it, it has not gone very well uh it's lost you know 18 percent of its value over the last what almost 30 years <laughs> that has not gone very well um so much so that there was an a ubisoft investor call and they are pissed at the current situation when it comes to Ubisoft. And this is from uh, Sickly the Ninja over on X, talking about how the Ubisoft situation, like this company is in trouble, Razor. Yeah. Um, so the Ubisoft situation has gotten far worse. Not only has their share price taken an epic nosedive in the, last, in the past couple of days, but now their own investors are beginning to panic. AJ Investments is demanding in an open letter to, to Ubisoft CEO that the company goes private lowers their prices and fires their staff in an attempt to save what dignity remains for their failing company. They question, Ubis uh, they question Ubisoft's integrity and cast doubt on their ability to give gamers what they want. Not looking good. Um, you can see this is from the article itself. And here it is, uh, the actual article or the actual letter themselves. Uh, the investor sets out four proposals to increase the value of Ubisoft for all stakeholders. They include allowing Ubisoft to go private, selling the company, changing current management, and ousting Gilmon, uh, who's Eve Gilmon has been there for a long time, a as the very CEO. long time, yeah, yes. And starting and and they even talked about starting a proxy fight uh, to for a hostile takeover. So that uh, that I worry about, and I'll explain why in a minute. Go ahead. Well, a minority owner of them at about 15% and growing is Tencent, who is essentially an arm of the CCP. And I've explained before, and I'll explain in my upcoming video, China funds ESG to the tune of trillions every single year. They export it to the West, particularly to industries that they wish to subsume. Then they ban it at home. 
so that their products, by contrast, seem more appealing, see the shitty Chinese monkey game. And then they can move into fields that they want to take over and take them over. And we're witnessing this in slow motion. If these numbers continue to plummet, mark my words, quote me on it, Tencent will invest even more while everybody else is walking sideways away from Ubisoft, assuming they don't go private. Uh, Tencent will invest even more in Ubisoft. They could wind up being a majority owner as they do in several companies. They own Funcom outright, right? They, they own a bunch of different companies pretty much outright. And they're majority owners in a number of companies you'd be surprised about. Go, Actually, you can see a lot of them if you go to their Wikipedia page even. So I, that's kind of what I worry about is they're going to take over uh, Ubisoft or use this as an opportunity to take over Ubisoft. The smartest course of action is to go private. That To me, that's the wisest course of action. Well, they, uh, they continue here. This is also from uh, Sickly the Ninja over on X. He says, uh, it gets even worse. Uh, AJ Investments plans to, to use the growing support of the remaining 70% of UB, UB shareholders to oust the CEO and his family and gain full control of Ubisoft so they, so they can sell it off. They show receipts and the letter of the Gamon family using their amassed control to purposely sabotage potentially beneficial partnerships uh, with other companies and further enrich themselves with help from Tencent. Uh, funny enough, one of the companies blocked from such partnerships is Blackstone. So, um, yeah, man, this is this is a lot. This is a lot here, and uh, the idea of going in and kind of taking this this over. You know, I'm I'm curious. This AJ Investments. Well, I'll see if you can do a little bit of digging on AJ Investments. And, just uh, uh, just just for the record, for those who doubt the trillion dollars spent in the West on ESG uh, in the nation of China, according uh, to data from Sintao Green Finance, by the end of third quarter 2023, China's e uh, ESG investment scale reached 33.06 trillion yuan, which is about four and a half trillion U.S. dollars, which is a record high. And that was a 35 percent increase from the previous year. Uh, shove that in your pipe and smoke it, bitch. Wow. That is a uh, that's, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. They spend huh? what they they spend trillions funding in the West. What they they earnestly ban at home. That is crazy to think about. This is, by the way, we're gonna have Kirsha on uh, here in the next uh, I think the next week or so. We're, I think she's on the seventeenth or nineteenth, maybe next week. Um, and she's been big on obviously you know the rebranding twenty sixth, the rebranding of DEI. Um, you know, with bridge and, and, uh, the infiltration of pretty much exactly what Razor's talking about right here. Um, it's, it's crazy to think about. And then now this could potentially find its way into Ubisoft as well. And, and it are, I mean, it already has, it already is, right. It's already, it already there. Is. That's probably why there are calls to go private. Honestly, mm -hmm. is because they recognize that some of the minority ownership like Tencent and other entities that are uh, involved with the company are pressuring them in this kind of slacktivist direction and that it's not profitable. I would imagine there's probably some of that going on. Mm, 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 mm. Um, Blas, did you find anything about uh, AJ investments? Uh, other than no, not a whole lot, to be honest. Other than that, you know, crushing Ubisoft. That's like the main thing that pops up in the last 24 hours. Right. The idea of a strategic and structural change. I think that anytime, if you were to look at just their stock price by itself. I don't understand how anybody cannot look at that and be like, yeah, something clearly needs to change. It's clearly. Um, you know, there are many CEOs who had been who would have been canned by the time you got to right there, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, from a drop of you know that much, let alone dropping to a potential, it's not an all-time low because they had an all-time low in 1999. But once again, we're talking about something that happened. Oh, man, that was before Splinter Cell. That was before, dude. I mean, come on. That was before Y2K, Razor. Yeah. <laughs> and dude, we just said Splinter Cell. You want to know one big reason why you're failing? I just listed off one of your most important and successful franchises. When was the last time you made a game in that series? 2012? 2011? Something like that? Like, there's so many dormant Ubisoft series. Rayman, for crying out loud. Some of your biggest franchises are just sitting, collecting dust on a shelf, 
while you virtue signal with garbage like Assassin's Creed Shadows. I think of, uh, man, that was bef like their low point. The last time we saw something this low was before I graduated high school. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm old as shit, right? <laughs> you know, so I'm just throwing uh, that was before I was even in high school. Right. That's crazy to think about. Uh, and just a quick glance, obviously you talk about the Tom Clancy games, Rainbow Six, uh, Splinter Cell, Rayman. I'm just looking a quick glance, uh, going through heroes. Um, golly, they, they did a crouching tiger, hidden, hidden, hidden dragon game for the, for the GameCube. Um, Alien vs. Predator for the GBA, but Just Dance, Prince of Persia, Watch Dogs, Trackmania, Trials. Trials was super fun. Um, the Crew, you know, they, they they had some pretty pretty notable franchises along the way. I've said this many, many times, but I very much think that what's going to happen is they're going to end up selling off their franchises and uh, trying to remain a company. And I think that shrinking uh, way down and getting gobbled up by somebody seems like the most. I mean, there's been talk over the last several years of Microsoft eyeballing them really hard. Yeah. Right. When when Microsoft was in that really acquisitive phase, who knows if Microsoft would be now, though? You look at all the studios they bought and almost instantly Arcane shit their pants and smeared it on all over every available surface in the house. Right. Like they had to close Arcane Austin. So it's not exactly panning out for them. I don't think I don't think Microsoft has any. I mean, they'd buy them on the cheap, right? But at the Maybe. same time, like they they own so much, they own so many major major properties. Do they really need to have Ubisoft in, the, in their portfolio? Yeah. I think Sony would be willing to pay more than more than uh, Microsoft would, because yeah. you know you look at their first party titles, and you're like, ah. And I think the only thing Nintendo would be interested in is Rayman, because I think it aligns uh, aligns well with you know or the the Rabbit series. Rayman and the Rabbits. I think that aligns with their cartoony, family-friendly nature. So, uh, man, there we go. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens, as always, when it comes to this. Uh, and question for anybody in the chat, are you a stockholder of Ubisoft? Um, <laughs> it goes back to... Do you need to talk to somebody? Are I don't you think they're going to admit that you, one, Craig. Are you threatening to harm yourself or others? Are there yeah. any sharp objects within reach? The original letter they have, I mean, they're right. They said the Ubisoft evaluation, we believe Ubisoft is a great undervalued company that should be worth 40 to 50 euros per share. It's worth 13, 13 right now, a third of uh, less than a third, 25% of what they, what they think it should be valued at. If that's the case, everybody should go in and buy, <laughs> buy, buy and triple your money. It's a, it's a better investment than Concord, my friends. Let's go.